News, Views, Voices of the Global Indian Community, India Abroad. Uh, the purpose of my visit uh, as a Minister for IT from the Government of Telangana is to can reconnect with the people, primarily who had their presence in Telangana, especially in Hyderabad, all the IT industry leaders, all the pharma leaders and in other core sectors. And secondly, to renew, to renew their level of participants in a much broader and a bigger way. We formed the government in the month of December. After 10 long years, we are back in the government and our message is simple. Our chief minister and ourselves are very clear stating that, you know, ultimate aim and goal of a government is the economic progress of our state. Whatever the initiatives the earlier government has taken, if they are progressive, we shall continue with those policies and shall value add to those policies and bring in new policies which will still further the economic growth of the state. So this is the confidence what we have been trying to apply on our investors in the state and who are also become the stakeholders of our state's economy. And coming down uh, uh, to the, you know, industrial development, you know, our industrial development, we are just concentrating Telangana as all, not Hyderabad uh, as a unit. Hyderabad is one, is one among uh, the economic engines. We, our state people are definitely take pride in Hyderabad because the strategic location, the skill set, uh, talent available and uh, ease of governance and many other things to follow. We've, we stand an example among our Indian states. So we try to uh, replicate in each and every counties what you say is in districts and also in tier 2, tier 3 cities or towns wherein, you know, all these investors uh, shall come and shall try to put in their uh, concerns over there and they also become a, a create a beautiful ecosystem in the process. That too, uh, where we are trying to literally see the resource available at the district level, the resource available at the revenue division level or at the village level, which are, which are high. And they also wants to do some sort of a job. They wants to contribute to our growth story. So when they should come, how they should come, and what is needed by the from the side of the government, we shall try to put that sort of infrastructure in place, and see that all these companies should also exist in tier two, tier three cities. So it's all around development of the Telangana what we are trying to put in in our uh, vision. At the same time, if you have seen over a period of time, you know, uh, when you compare US economy, when it has grown from 2 trillion to 30 trillion, they have taken IT, you know, people like Microsoft, Google, Amazon and many companies have contributed for the growth of uh, this country, big country. And in fact, I would like to uh, say that, you know, coding was done for all this back in Hyderabad. So, most of the things, most of the companies which have contributed for US growth too, we are also part and parcel of, uh, you know, Hyderabad and India as such. So, if I see in one thing, we all these years, all these years, most most of the software centered around coding back in India, back in Hyderabad. And the high finished products are done from US and sent back to India and all other countries. 
so it's like uh, uh, sending dow to uh, us and all other european markets and getting back the bread at a higher cost now the time really you know over a period of time the our industrial and information technology expertise has grown so we are not only for coding we are also for product development and we also have the talent to build the great products from our base stations so the time has literally come you know to take the leverage of that and see that you know what we vision out tomorrow is we would also contribute to our nation uh, goal of making india a 10 trillion economy and we would also contribute like uh, also grow to 2 trillion to 3 trillion economy in times to come for that you know over a period of time what the strength of the software industry or it industry we created we built now the era of the disruptive technology new age technology has come especially artificial intelligence gen ai or uh, uh, ai is occupying a major role in times to come so we can't miss that bus we can't miss that just like we have missed the semiconductor bus and uh, we are you know when our late leader indira gandhi started chip manufacturing company in chandigarh way late in 1970s before the china or taiwan i thought about uh, semiconductor industry for some unknown reason the factory has been burnt and the government has also put that uh, aside from that era if this semiconductor or the chips manufacturing would have taken place from the place of chandigarh if we can imagine the strength of economy now it would have been the multifold it would have been a 20x of the economy what we are seeing seeing now so this opportunities of ai we can't miss this now and i and our government also see this is an opportunity to grow exponentially make a you know multi trillion economy of our state so ai generally what we see is uh, we are not only just looking forward as the ai which can create difference and all but how it should be helpful for our people especially for the people of telangana and indian people at large and next to the global level so in that angle we just thought when we form the government our next focus should be you know giving top priority for the next generation technologies so that's the real reason you know when we thought of ai uh, we thought of building a ai city you know ai city is not a just a you know physical structure or a passive structure what we are thinking is we have allocated about 200 acres of land for this ai city already allotted and in the process we just want to make it very active city not only passive as active city active in terms of what is to be needed what sort of hyperscalers are required over there what sort of uh, gpus are required over there and what sort of infrastructure is required in that physical uh, environment to see that every inch of ai city would cater to the needs for the research and development of ai to the companies who would like to come and put their offices in that ai cc should have the proper infrastructure to grow and the mainly what is required for ai now the main asset is the content the data if you look back and see about 1.4 billion population almost uh, 1 billion population uses cell phones maybe quarter of uh, our population has two three phones just imagine the amount of data collection in that sphere of 1.4 billion that is our main 
you know asset and we would be collecting the data analysis will be done and the AI will be useful in a right and precise manner. If we do not use the data of 1.4 billion and the data in an Indian globe, somebody will be using this the data of ours, our Indian country and try to build AI um, companies in much, much uh, speeder way. So, we do not want to miss that uh, you know time. So, we are that is the real reason we are trying to create a AI city where we will position most of the uh, multinational companies who have a repute in that or their R and D and each vertical suppose for example, life sciences for transport or you know software or you know any pharma or any vertical which will be you know these expertise will be dire in that AI city and they will be developing the products and they will be providing all the services required for the global um, uh, industry. So, as of now the AI city what we are conceptualizing is uh, you know the next step would be you know everybody would be asking us what would be there in AI city. So, uh, that is the real reason the statement made by me is not about the passive, passive state, but here the next moment in September in September we are trying to put a AI global summit in September this year. So, the, all the global leaders of AI will come and share their experiences and expertise and also give us the outer limits or linkages what need to be done in AI city for them to come. So, we will take their suggestions input from the AI summit and we will try to build the AI city. So, till we start building that city, we just do not want to take any initiative in terms of uh, you know giving it to somebody because we want to literally create high technological uh, AI city over there. So, that is the real reason many people are showing keen interest uh, in having their own offices or space in R and D institutions which are coming up. They are trying to you know put in their request for having their offices, but uh, government as such has not decided what need to be done. So, we will have a policy framework for that. And how big the city would be? 200 acres. And how many companies think you can be? No, all I think almost all the companies will come and uh, put their offices there. Because many people are showing keen interest. All the big guys are showing keen interest. So, that is where you know we would take the you know leverage and the lead in the AI and try to build our own uh, information technology to the next level. Uh, you know, first of all, I, um, I would like to reiterate the point that we came here to reconnect with the people and secondly, uh, to broad base their investment to the next level. In the process, uh, you know, when we visited uh, Coca Cola, where you know they have their existence in uh, state of Telangana, and we told them you know your presence is more needed because of the strategic location and we would like to you know give all the total utmost cooperation if uh, they come in with more investment. So, immediately they responded and uh, they are coming up with a 700 crore uh, Coca Cola plant in uh, district of Pedapelli. So, that is a very positive news and in that way we are trying to line up a few life sciences companies to put the GCCs and also IT companies to put the GCCs. So, in the next visit of us, you know we are making a discussion right now, in the next visit of us we will try to sign many MOUs from this uh, country to have the GCCs, to have center of excellence in their respective sphere. And in terms of you know the one more additional what I can say is in a defense in aerospace also. Many companies are mostly interested to come down to Hyderabad uh, because that ecosystem what we have created because in the terms of defense, in terms of aerospace most of the multinational companies exist over there right now. So, many companies are showing uh, keen interest to come and station there in Hyderabad and in Telangana. So, we would uh, like to see their presence in a much broader and much. 
you know, because I do not see Andhra Pradesh as a competition because uh, why I mean to say Hyderabad is such a place where you have talented skill that is also important and strategic location and ease of doing business and the beautiful environment, the environment suits anybody who would be coming from north or south or deep north or some you know northeast, it is a cosmopolitan city absolutely you know not only Telugu sleeves there, you have so many people from different states and different nationalities. They come and they, they have put and they are now the Telangana citizens now. So, this sort of a beautiful environment you cannot create overnight or you cannot create over a period of 20 or 30 years, right. This has to be natural, natural advantage is there and at the same time we took key in initiatives to see that the natural advantage should not be seen away. There is a real reason Hyderabad, you know, from 1992 in terms of IT, when we laid the foundation stone for software technological park, nobody would thought this will evolve to this level. In the same way, we, we want to have the seedling of AI now, so the future generations will be benefited. So, I do not see any competition, you know, competition definitely is there with the Bangalore, but Bangalore is already lost this sheen in terms of you know mobility, in terms of having drinking water, lack of proper infrastructure and high cost of living. So, here when it comes to Hyderabad, we have affordable living, quality of life is much better, you know water is never a problem, power is never a problem and uh, when you see in some parts Definitely, I do agree. Density of the population, of especially the IT population, is high. Now we are concentrating on four corners of Hyderabad, so that everything will be, you know, decimated to different corners of uh, Hyderabad first. And when we develop, you know, tied to tier three cities, then it will be done away with. That concept will be gone. So, when Bangalore is losing its vitality, we are growing and we have learned lot many lessons in the process from the Bangalore too, not to concentrate everything in one area or one uh, city, but we are trying to concentrate in all parts of our state. So, there is lot of space for expansion. Yes, we have lots of ex you know space and scope for expansion in north, south and east parts of our city and they are all equally and in the same way connected to the airport, to all uh, you know whatever the educational institutions uh, because the outer ring road will fetch anybody to different corners of our city within an hour. Yeah, uh, when you know when we made a pitch in 2005 to have a separate consulate keeping in view the number of uh, Telugu people who would be going abroad especially US is too high and our then chief minister Mr. Raj Chakradi made an appeal to uh, US government especially uh, this uh, embassy over here, they were skeptical. But the positive push gave by the state government then made them come down to Hyderabad rather than going for other cities and we have created beautiful infrastructure for them and that is helpful for them. At the same time our people from Telangana otherwise would have gone to Chennai or to Mumbai or to Delhi or to Bangalore for you know their visa. Now directly they can have the visa and the visa uh, you know and they can avail the visa at their doorstep. And I, and you know the diaspora of Telugu in US is too high. Uh, we are seeking their contribution in terms of you know kind, in terms of their uh, intellectual property, in terms of their expertise and if need be if there somebody wants to contribute in terms of money or in cash, they can give back to the region or the place where they hail from. For example, if a person hailing from a village or a town 
comes and settles in US and they make a fortune, they would like to give back to the origin of its place. So, we would like to create some platform so that you know the benefits what he would like to share it with his own people will be given with the proper audit and accountability. So, we are in the same process we have been making an appeal to all NRI especially the Telugus to come and give back to their own people to the regions and to their own uh, birthplace uh, so that they will be uh, taking part in our state progress. So, our vision is not only you know we on the part of government when we had given a mandate to govern the people in only in terms of uh, you know welfare and development, yes resources is our duty and responsibility to share among our people. At the same time the additional uh, input or the additional push by NRS will give more better results. So, we are not forgetting our responsibility that the state government has to do and putting all the responsibility on the NRS. It is not like that. It is like we will do what best can be done for our people from the state government. In addition, suppose for example, we are concentrating on school education, on higher education and also in the medical care. So, if somebody can supplement with their expertise, their intellectual property or in kind organizing medical trips or you know something like that or in cash to build infrastructure. So, they welcome that will give an additional push for all the development what we are planning for. So, for that we will try to create a platform where you know a responsible and accountable system will prevail to fetch a dollar from the USA or a pound from Europe. No, yeah, uh, we sometimes we have an apprehension because we are from different party and the national government is from the different party, but still India as such on the whole has a spirit. The development of all states is important for growth of India. Hopefully, uh, keeping you know our honorable Prime Minister Modi with the magnanimous thinking will develop all states and especially you know for the development of Telangana, he would be you know we expect and uh, hope the maximum funds shall come because it is a young state where talent is available. From here they can scale up their economy to a different level in terms of uh, you know uh, information technology or in the terms of the disruptive technologies like AI or quantum or data sciences or in cyber security. If some if, if the national government wants to encourage some other state where there is no skill set and they would put in their money, there is no point. If the same impetus is being given to the state of Telangana, we will show the dividends. We will be the part and parcel of making this India a 10 trillion economy. No, we, we are seeking uh, cooperation as such yesterday only the new government took place and our chief minister and we and all our colleagues will see our respective ministers and try to make an appeal and tell that you know we are also part and parcel of uh, this nation and we will try to extend what best possible is needed from our state. And as you know uh, national government there lies the responsibility in encouraging us, especially if I see there is semiconductor mission of the central government. That semiconductor mission objective is to see that you know chip manufacturing has to be done. Whoever whichever state would come up with good companies they have to be encouraged. If that is been done judiciously and I can bet that many chip companies will come here manufacture here because what I have seen is why I have the strength being is we have chip designer here in Hyderabad and we are the early lead in terms of uh, semiconductor. We have Qualcomm, Nvidia, you know if you see the Micron or Intel all the chip designing are here in Hyderabad. 
So, we would we would like to upscale that we we also would like to you know do the production. Production where you want to do the India as a whole has to do on the semiconductor machine, you have to encourage us also not only one state because we have expertise in that and we created that sort of ecosystem and that is the real reason we are asking for it. So, that is the real reason you know whatever the asset we have, that are the ecosystem we have that should be used properly by the central government. So, that both central government, the state government uh, mutually grow together. 